This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CX2 Technology Student course. In this lesson, we explore a circle theorem using a geometry application. Start a new document and insert a geometry application. The theorem involves a circle, so press menu, select shapes, followed by circle. Click once to place the center of the circle. Then Move to the side and click to define the size of the circle. Then press escape to release the circle tool. Our theorem involves two chords. So we'll use the line segment tool in the points and lines section of the menu. Move the pencil over the edge of the circle until the line segment tool says point on. Then click. Move the pencil over another section of the circle until it says point on. Then click. That's one chord completed. Don't press escape yet as the line segments tool is still active. So we can just repeat the previous step to draw another chord. But make sure the second chord crosses over the first one. It's possible to construct a diagram so that this will always occur. However, for the purpose of this activity, we're just going to keep things simple. Now, press Escape to release the Segment tool. We need a point where the two segments intersect. We could use the Points and Lines menu, however, on the CX2, you can just press P. Move the pen over the point of intersection. Notice the tooltip says Intersection Point. Then click to place the point of intersection. Our diagram is finished. Now it's time to take some measurements. Press Menu, select Measurement, and then Length. I'll start with the CE in my diagram. Click on point C, then point E. Now move the measurement to the top left corner of the screen and click. Now we're ready for the next measurement. Notice our measurement tool is still active. I'll measure the length AE and place it at the bottom left of the screen. Now BE. Place this measurement in the top right. And finally DE and place this measurement at the bottom right of screen. We're all done with measuring, so press Escape to release the measurement tool. Now it's time to do some calculations. Press Menu, Actions and select Text. Place the cursor in the middle left of the screen and click. Type the calculation CE multiplied by DE. On the middle right of screen, type the text AE multiplied by BE. We want to use the measurements for each segment in these calculations. So press Menu. Actions and select Calculate. Point to the expression for the product CE times DE and click. The text prompt is requesting for the location of the measurement CE. That measurement is in the top left corner of the screen. Click on the measurement. Now the text tip is requesting the measurement for DE which is in the bottom right corner. Click on it. The resulting product is now stuck to the mouse pointer. Click in a free space just beneath the expression. Now we can repeat this process for the expression AE times BE. Press Escape to release the calculation tool. Now, grab point A and move it around the circumference of the circle. Notice that all the measurements and calculations update automatically. You may also notice that the two products are always equal. Why? Keep watching for a little hint.